In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd of October, 2024. It is Wednesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time, Church Yebi. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 2 to 12. The responsorial psalm is taken from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 12. The response to the psalm is, With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Saviour. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 39 to 48. A meditation is drawn from the Gospel text. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have been awake and would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his master will set over his household, to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the man-servants and the maid-servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know and will punish him, and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant, who knew his master's will, but did not make ready or act according to his will, shall receive a severe beating. But he who did not know, and did what deserved a beating, shall receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much is given, of him will much be required. And of him too, whom men commit much, they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is, We know more than enough not to go to hell. We know more than enough not to go to hell. Dear good people of God, Yesterday, the gospel passage exhorted us to be ready for death, to live our lives like dutiful servants waiting for their master's return. It is God who gave us life. We live it for him, and he will come back for it. When, how, where, we do not know. But let his coming find us ready, living good lives, as he instructed us. 
Today, as a follow-up, Jesus continues to say, should the master find any servant unprepared, that servant will be severely beaten. The strokes will be many and more severe for those servants who should know better. By this, Jesus means he expects those who know he will come, like you and I, to be more prepared for him than those who do not know. For example, the pagans, those who do not believe in God, those who do not have the opportunity to listen to doctrine. Should he meet unprepared those who know that he will come, their punishment will be very severe. Those who do not know will not be spared, only that their punishment will be lighter. Why are we considered as those who know? It is because we are constantly reminded. We are preached beautiful homilies and we listen to great sermons that remind us that we are pilgrims on earth and death is inevitable. Can you claim that you have never heard of all this? Can you say that you don't know about this? Well, if you did not, now after listening to this homily, you do. So if you were to go to hell, you have yourself to blame and your punishment will be severe because you knew but you did nothing about it. Jesus says, to whom much is given, much more is expected. With all the avenues provided to us, we have no reason to die unprepared and miss heaven. We know we have to live our Christian lives. We are told every time to do good and avoid evil. We are reminded of the necessity of the sacrament of reconciliation. We are told to forgive and to let go. So, beloved, why then, after knowing all this, should you die in sin? Why then, after knowing all this, should you die and go to hell? So our punishment will be very severe because we know all this, but either because we have been nonchalant or because we have been carefree or because we took many things for granted, we may find ourselves going to hell and our punishment will be severe. Jesus, therefore, is sounding a very strong warning bell. If you know what you ought to do, beloved, then do it. Don't wait for death to meet you unprepared, lest your punishment will be very severe. Oh dear Lord, you have taught us everything. We are the lucky people to say that we have heard everything, even from you and from the mouths of your prophets, the priests and pastors. We have heard everything and we know what is expected of us. Therefore, much has been given to us. May we live our lives, conglomerate to exactly what we have heard being preached to us. Let us be able to put into practice all that we have been taught and even when we make our mistakes because of human weakness, let us rush to the sacrament of confession so that when you come, whenever you come and however you come, we may be found like those dutiful servants ready for their master's return. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.